Narito tayo sa MTRCB office kung saan halos sa kanyang huling hininga ay nagsilbi si Gloria Sevilla bilang board member and reviewer. Um, kanina ay nagkaroon ng misa uh, para kay uh, Ms. Gloria Sevilla at uh, sa pagkakatong ito, uh, ibibigay uh, ng programang DC Showbiz sa uh, Pika-Pika ang aming pakikiramay kay uh, Ms. Suzette Ranillo, ang isa sa mga naiwan ni Ms. Gloria Sevilla at uh, siya ay uh, i-interviewin natin tungkol sa mga funeral plans at uh, paano ba si Gloria Sevilla bilang isang ina at hindi lamang uh, reyna ng uh, Visayan movies. Panoorin niyo po ito. So Suzette, seven children ang iniwan ni Gloria Sevilla. Ilan ang nasa Amerika lahat? Except, except me, who's here in Manila, but uh, I'm actually also based in the U.S. In the U.S. And also, pero okay, uh, but for a long, for a long time, nandito ikaw nagaalaga kay Tita Glo dito sa Manila, no? Because she was doing uh, TV shows, movies. In fact, you directed her. Uh, Adu sa Pagli... Pag, pagbalik for pagbalik. yeah for FDCP yung tista oh, ng pelikulang Pilipino yeah. pagbalik kasi asahin sa pagbalik yan kasi yung oh. isa yan pagbalik Pag, okay. correct so magkasama kayo sa condo correct yes Hills, yes okay. yeah. we also did uh, after pagbalik we did Nang M which is a short oh, film oh. during the pandemic time uh, okay. anyway so uh, inabutan kayong dalawa ng pandemic sa Green Hills. Tapos, uh, tama ba ng August 2021 ay lumipad kayo ng Amerika para? Uh, of course, to attend the wedding of my niece, her granddaughter, si Camille. Kanino anak? Anak ni Lilibeth. Youngest uh, daughter ni Lilibeth. Okay. Uh, she, was, she got married last October mm-hmm. sa Amerika. Kaya kami pumunta ng Amerika rin. Ah, okay. So, uh, tapos, ang supposedly, ang mangyayari ay uuwi kayo dapat after the wedding? Yes, uuwi kami. Unfortunately, tumaas na naman ang COVID. So, tumaas yung, yung naging strict ulit uh, sa pagli- paglipad. So, we had to stay uh, and spend Christmas, which was also good kasi she was able to spend time with, with the family bawat anak niya nakapag uh, nag-spend time siya. Even kay Matt, at kala Krista sa LA. Sa, uh, sa LA. Los Angeles. Correct. Kasi San Francisco based ang mga Ramilio, no? Yes. Okay, so kumusta na yung huling Pasko niya? Anong nangyari? Well, we had a... It, it was a... Fun. We had a lot of fun. Kasi nandun na rin yung mga great grand apos niya. So... Uh, ilang generations yon Kami, mga anak niya, yung mga apo niya, at saka yung mga uh, apo sa tuhod. Uh, so, she had a lot of fun. We, we played games. Sumali siya sa laro namin. Very pleasant. Uh, although, hindi lahat nakapunta kasi si Lamat nasa, Amer- nasa LA na noon. Uh, but, nag-ano naman, nakapag-usap sila by phone. Mm-hmm. So, malakas pa si Dita Gulo ng mga uh, Christmas activities niyo? Yes. Malakas naman. Kaya lang kasi itong pandemic time, uh, yung generation niya, ang bilis nung deterioration, especially physically, kasi nawala yung activities nila. So they had to be, they had to stay in the in their houses. Mm-hmm. So kulang sa exercise, kulang sa sunlight. Kaya parang napansin ko ang dami sa kanila, sa generation niya, sa balik samahan, ang medyo nag-deteriorate kaagad. Oh, kasama yung sila Anita Linda, di ba? Yes. Sila Mona Lisa. Yeah. Uh, Ita Lilia Dizon. Lilia Dizon. Yeah. Yeah. Oo nga, ano, come to think of it. Yeah. Uh, tapos, so, ba, so, dapat babalik kayo after your holidays, kaya, kaya na nag-Omicron. Correct. So, ano yes. nangyari? Paano ba? Ang nangyari, ikaw na lang bumalik. Ako na lang ang bumalik. Bumalik ako actually two weeks ago lang. And then, uh, few days, six days after. Actually, uh, yeah, correct. Six days after, that's when she passed on. Ang bala ko talaga, mag-iiwan na lang sa Amerika. Um, she, she wanted to spend 
more time with the family. And, but she eventually wanted to come home because uh, namimiss niya ang ginagawa niya dito. Eh. Namimiss niya yung MTRCB family niya. Namimiss niya being an artista. And she's more comfortable here kasi doon kasi pag wala kang driver, doon ka na lang sa bahay. Eh. Dito, she, she has uh, just somebody to drive for her. Meron siyang help. Unfortunately, we're in the COVID situation. So parang restricted rin. So nag-decide yung mga siblings ko to let her stay first in, Amer in, in America until mag-improve ang COVID situation ng pandemic. Ang pandemic. Ang medyo, ang medyo ano lang, ang mahirap nun kasi kung kailan ka bumalik at saka siya nawala. Mm -mm. Na within five days? Yeah, five days. Uh, she actually wanted to come home with me. But just like what my my sibling said, because hindi lang naman ako, and they, did, they decide for her, na for her to stay there first because the the pandemic is still around. Uh, you know, mahirap na, very vulnerable si mom. Maybe after a few months. Uh, Nag-usap kami ng dalawa. Sabi ko, do you want to come home? I mean, come back, go back to Manila. Sabi niya, yeah, I want to go back. So I thought, again, this is what we're going to do. Mauna ako, magsisettle down muna ako because we've been away for almost eight, eight months. I will settle down. I'll find some somebody to assist you. And then after a month, uh, balik ka. Sabi niya, sino kasama ko paglipad? Sabi ko, ma'am, sasakay ka lang na aeroplano. Pagbalik mo, nandun na ako sa labas. Sabi niya, okay. Sige, okay ako dun. So that, kami dalawa, usapan namin dalawa yun. But with my siblings, you know, it's, it's different. They would want her to stay longer there, maybe spend more time because, you know, they wanted to make up for lost time also. They haven't seen her for like more than two years during the pandemic time. Uh, ano ba ang mga medical issues niya before she went? Wala naman siya talagang serious medical issues. You know, it's just a typical somebody who's getting old. You have to watch out for your blood pressure. Uh, she had some uh, heart maintenance, pero nothing really to be alarmed. Uh, she took a lot of vitamins, kasi very particular yun sa, sa health rin niya. Pero uh, so far, hindi naman siya diabetic. Um, of course, you know, I just had to control because too much of anything is bad. Everything should be in moderation. But she, at her age, 90 years old, she's pretty much in good health. She was pretty much in good health. A little, ano lang, may konti lang siya mga chest pains once in a while. Uh, but that's about it. Okay, okay. Bago ko nag-board ng aeroplano, pabalik ng Manila, anong, anong napag-usapan niyo? Yung mga yung babay niyo in person? Uh, I just told her that um, I'll, aayusin ko lang yung mga gamit natin and then I'll, I'll come back. Kasi, yung nga, Iba yung usapan namin, iba yung usapan ng mga kapatid ko. But the day before she passed on, that was when we talked over the phone. So it was sort of a premonition na rin, I guess. Because I called her and I told her, uh, Kumusta ka na? Sabi niya, Okay naman ako. Nandun ako ng TV. O yung mga gamit natin, yung rosary ko sa ilalim ng bed, yung things. Sabi ko, Ano sinasabi mo, ma'am? Sabi niya, Kasi ang dami natin mga gamit dyan. Ikaw, okay ka ba dyan? Sabi ko, Ma'am, tumawag ako sa'yo because I wanted to know if you're okay. Huwag mong aalalahanin yung mga gamit dito. Huwag mo kong aalalahanin kasi okay ako. So sabi ko, ilang tatlong beses ko sinabi yan. Sabi ko, huwag mo kong aalalahanin. I'm okay. okay. Ikaw ang tinatanong ko, kumusta ka dyan? Okay ka ba? Sabi niya, okay naman ako. Uh, sabi mo sa mga kaibigan natin, kumusta uh, sila, babalik ako, MTRCB, sabi mo, namimiss ko sila lahat. Mga balik samahan. Tell them that uh, I miss them and I hope to see them soon. I go, okay, okay, sige. Mag-relax ka dyan, mag-enjoy ka. O lipit ka from one, from one son or daughter to another. And um, I'll see you soon. Sabi niya, okay. So I go, okay. Sige, ma'am, love you, ah. Sabi niya, okay, love you. So that was the last time. Pero ang sabi mo sa akin, uh nung nabalik sa'yo ng condolences na uh, 
tumawag ka the day before she died kasi nakaramdam ka ng pagkalungkot. Yeah. Anong, anong klase ng pagkalungkot? Normally kasi, kasi dalawa lang kami sa condo. And I'm used to being alone in, in the condo. So, at the day before, which was Thursday, uh, it was Holy Week time. Eh. So, you know, I would just go to church, uh, attend the Tridung. Pagbalik ko ng bahay, parang nakaramdam ako ng, hmm, why is this feeling something different? Why do I feel loneliness, emptiness? Uh, as compared to how I would feel before when I was just by myself. I'm alone, but I'm fine, you know. But this time, I kind of felt like lungkot, yung sadness of being alone, of uh, not seeing her. So I went to check her stuff and see if everything was okay. And um, so I I'll, I'll give her a call uh, just to maybe in a way um, talk to her because I never had a chance to talk to her before I left. When I, call, when I was at the airport, I called my brother, Georgia, that's where she stayed. I go, can I talk to mom? Sanya, ang tulog na. Sige, tawag na lang ako tomorrow. So, um, when, when, the first chance that I was able to do was, you know, to call her. And buti na lang, she was still, it was afternoon, so, nakapag-usap kami. Pero, I also already felt that sadness in, in me uh, of, of not seeing her Sekondo. Wala privilege pa rin na may mangyayari. Actually, meron ng meron ng premonition even before that. Kasi um, nung nagpunta kasi kami ng Vegas days before si Krista invited us dahil anak nung eldest son niya. So we went to Vegas. And I stepped out of the hotel for a little bit, and then pagbalik ko, sabi niya, sino ba yan eh? Sabi ko, ang alin? Sabi niya, sino yung mga kasama mo? Sabi ko, sino mga, yan mga lalaki oh. Sabi ko, nasaan? Diyan sa likod mo. Ay, mami, wala naman akong kasama dito. Ay, ira naman. And then the next day, lumabas ako alin ng, ng room. Pagbalik ko, sabi niya, ano ba yan eh? Sabi ko, ano? Sino yung mga babae? Bakit ang dami nila? Anong kailangan nila dito? Sabi ko, ma'am, wala naman ako yung mga kasama eh. It's just me. Sabi niya, dami, pasok ko lang, pasok dito. So, meron akong mga, may mga incidents already na gano'n. Ano ang interpretation mo? What, like, like, medyo nag-a-assign na ba siya? No. Or may sumusundo sa kanya? Si ma'am, mas napaka- active ng mind niya because very active siya because she's been doing online reviews eh. Iba yung energy niya when she's doing online reviews. So, yung mind niya is, wala, yung, yung presence of mind niya, hindi mo alam, wala, walang signs of Alzheimer's or dementia. So, Ang galing pa ng mem- memory niya. So, sino yung mga taong na hindi, hindi mo nakikita na nakikita niya? Eh, maybe siguro, just like what you said, baka meron ng sumusundo sa kanya or something like that. Na obviously hindi niya. It could be angels. I hope so, yeah. Really, yeah. Uh, so tapos, and then, yung final hours, bale, uh, she died in her sleep. Yes. Okay. Ano yung ang base sa pagkakakwento sa'yo? Ano rin ang nangyari ba yun? Kasi the, the night, bago siya natulog. Few hours before, that was after the Easter vigil. Uh, si Jojo called me. Your ba- Jojo, your brother. Correct, yeah. Uh, and sabi niya, Sue, so, bakit ganyan si Mami? Sabi ko, bakit? Kasi tawag ng tawag sa akin, eh, parang early morning doon. Tawag ng tawag sa akin, hindi ako makatulog. 
Sabi ko, bakit? Sabi niya, um, gusto daw magpadala sa hospital. Teka, si Jojo ay nasa parehong bahay sila? Yes, yeah, si mom was with Jojo. Jojo. Si mom was at Jojo's house sa Oakland Hills. Tumatawag from the bedroom. Um, nas, si mom kasi yung room niya nasa ground floor. Si okay. Jojo nasa second floor. So parang tinatawag, Jo, Jo, ganyan. So tawag daw ng tawag sa kanya. At dali mo ako sa ospital? Yeah, dali mo ako sa ospital. Tapos pagbaba niya, sabi niya bakit? Sabi niya kasi nag-chest pains daw siya. And normally kasi, pag na- nandito, when she would call me and tell me, oh, I'm having some chest pains, dali mo ako sa ospital. Papa-ECG ako. Sabi ko, ma'am, pahinga lang yan. So, Palaging ganun, which is true. Which was true na pahinga lang talaga. Medyo na ano lang siya, nasa-stress ng konti. So, she would take medicine and then, you know, sleep. When she wakes up, she's already okay. So, that's what I told Jojo. So, I ko, kailangan lang ng pahinga niya. Bigyan mo siya nung, nung uh, medicine niya for, for chest pains. So, binigyan naman daw. And then, sabi niya, pero ano eh, parang yung position daw ni mom, hindi diretso nakahiga. Parang she wanted to get up. So sabi ko, show me. Show, show her to me. So kinakita niya. Sabi ko, ba't ganyan, sabi ko, ba't ganyan ang position niya? Sabi niya, eh, kasi ano, gusto mo tumayo yata. Sabi ko, sige, iharap mo sa akin. Sabi ko, ma'am, ma'am. Tapos ganyan siya. Parang, mga ganun. Sabi ko, ma'am, humiga ka na diretso para makapahinga ka mabuti. Tapos sabi niya, yun, diniretso naman ni Jojo. And then, yun, natulog na, miga lang. Tapos naka, parang nakatulog. Mga ano oras siya sa Amerika? Um, that was around, I think, Manila time. That was like 11 p.m. 11 p.m. our time. So, I, parang morning yata. Umaga so, na doon. Yeah, morning niya. Uh, eh, <laughs> kakarating ko lang nun, so nag-jet lag pa ako. Sabi ko, pahigayin mo lang yan. Ano lang yan, stress lang. Sabi ko, ano bang ginawa niyan the whole day? Wala naman, doon naman ng TV. Eh, yun nga lang, medyo nalungkot siya nung umalis kasi ako. Because she wanted to come home. Um, hindi naman pwede. Hindi pwede kasi yun nga eh, medyo mataas pa yung COVID natin yun. So, tapos, uh, sa so natulog, after having a class, paano na-discover? I think after like four, five hours. Nung pagising ulit ni Jojo, eh, she was sleeping daw. And then, bihis siya. Pagbaba niya, yun, sabi ng wife ni Jojo that she wasn't breathing anymore. And, uh, Tumawag sila ng 911. Dumating naman ang paramedics right away. But, you know, they, they tried to resuscitate her. But, you know, wala na. Paano din ba rin kang lose sa'yo at paano mo tinanggap? When I woke up, after you know, so many hours, no, ang dami ko na nakitang messages and missed calls and stuff. Y- yung mga ganyan, ano na, medyo, especially at an odd time, you know, p- they would call me. Parang, I had to pick up, you know, I had to call somebody already. I called Junie. And Junie was the one who broke the news uh, casually. Parang, sabi ko, oh, Ging, sabi niya, Sue, are you, are you, you just woke up? Sabi ko, yeah, I'm gissing out. She's gone. Sabi ko, what do you mean? She's gone. And she's not breathing anymore. So parang napatingin lang ako sa kanya. And then she, he just kept on talking and talking. So, nagkaroon naman ako ng konting presence of mind. Sabi niya, so, are we gonna bring her body there, back? So, I go, probably not. It's just, maybe just cremate her. Parang ganun. So, yeah, we'll talk about it. And then we'll let you know. So, yeah, I, I waited for actually one or two days before I found out, you know, what the plans were. Kasi at that time, that was weekend. So, walang office sa, sa US. So, we had to wait. Na Mom? Na uh, not totally, but uh, of course we we have to accept. You know, I mean, alam ko 
mission accomplished na rin siya. Uh, although, you know, yung, yung absence lang kasi. Yung absence niya, medyo you have to get over that. You have to get used to it. You have to move on. And be thankful for her well-lived life. Uh, it's the it's the not seeing her every day or not hearing her makes it a bit harder. Uh, in time, I guess you will be able to accept it. Ako, okay, nag-usap tayo ngayon, pero maya maya, babalikan sa Francisco. Okay, so ano ang funeral plans? As of now. There will be a one-day viewing in in Union City, California. Uh, Don't kasi very limited lang time to view. Uh, so that will be on Thursday from 4 to 8 p.m. Uh, there will be a one-hour viewing only with the family. And then after that, they will bring her back to Holy Sepulchre, then to Undertaker. Then the next day, Friday, will be the funeral mass and then uh, after the mass, I think there's like one or two hours of you know seeing, saying goodbye to her for the last time, and then after that we plan to cremate her and bring her back here so that she will be put to rest beside Tito Mads in Saloyola. Ahmad, my step, our stepdad, see si Amado Cortez. That's that's her billing. Eh, yung father mo, si Mata. Ah, okay na yun. An- ano naman? Andun rin naman siya sa Loyola. So, magkakasama sila? Magkakasama sila. Different plots lang daw. But, you know, all in one memorial, ano, <laughs> I don't place. want to, to add humor to this, pero ano ba? Or, di ba talagang Glory City lang haba lang kaya dalawa? Oh, <laughs> oh. Dalawa ang because makakasama sa hanggang huling himlayan. Oh, kasi 15 years she spent with our dad. But she spent like 32 years with Tito Mads. Mm, yes. The second husband. Yeah. Okay. But so, I, I know, I know, I know that she loved them both. You know, they make kanya kanya silang oras. Ah, uh, so si Bali, na si Amado Cortez pa cremated then? No, no, hindi siya okay. cremated. So the Saloyola Memorial uh, Park sa Marikina. Correct. Yes. So tapos sila. Yes. Yon. Yeah. Okay. Pero hindi lang magkatabi. Wala yun lang na ano. Kumbaga hibahibalay din. Oo. <laughs> wala kayo pangyari si Lusan. Wala na, wala na daw si Lusan doon. Sabi ni Father Orbos. Eh. Wala na si Lusan, wala na away, wala ingitan, wala intriga. So, masayang lugar na doon. Napangiti rin kita. <laughs> Oo nga eh. Ngayon lang ako nangiti. Hindi ka muna. Balikan mo natin. Okay. Um, Bali, lumalabas sa pito kayo, pang ilan ka, pang number... Three. Three. Pero, ikaw ang favorite ni Matarilio Jr., di ba? Ah, uh, yeah. Kasi daw, ako daw ang pinakakamukha niya. Yeah. Yeah. At ang guwapo ni Matarilio Jr. Ha? Oo nga, grabe. <laughs> Tapos si... Um, pero, si uh, Tita Glo, sino ang favorite niya sa mga anak? I think mom naman is fair to everyone, although she will not admit that she has some special, uh, she's giving special attention to some of us. Sino? <laughs> Particularly? Um, well, of course, si Ina being the youngest, but Dandin was for a long time the youngest also before she, before she remarried. Hindi siya si Dandin kasi nakakatawa, di ba? Oo, komedyante si Dandin. Eh si Matronigy the third si Archie. Eh, Matt kasi, alam mo naman si Matt is so lovable. Mm-hmm. He, not, like, hindi lang si mommy ang ano, um, love. No? I think everybody loves Matt because he's, he has a, such a pleasant personality. Charming. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Favorite ako? Wow. Uh, hmm. Baka magselos. Ay, hindi. pantay-pantay lahat yan. Hindi, kasi ako think ko dapat si Krista kasi una. Um, yeah, sa babae. Uh-huh. Pero sa lalaki, si CJ. Oh, pero sa uh, uh, si, si, oh, I agree. Siguro si Krista because siyang sum, sumunod sa, ano eh, sa Yapa. Uh-huh. As an artista. Sa Yapa, ano ba? Yes. Pero anong banding nung uh, ni Krista at saka, ano ba tawag niya sa lola? Oo. Uh-huh. Uh, grandma. Grand- Everybody calls her grandma or jima uh-huh. or great grandma. Uh, maganda itong time na nakapagawa 
naka, we were in the States kasi we spent a lot of time with Krista and her kids. Um, noon kasi, wala, nasa San Francisco kami madala. So, lagi kaming nagbabond with the San Francisco family. But this time, she brought her grandma to Vegas. She brought her to LA for a week. And then, nagpapamuti beauty pa sila, ganun, together. So, so, a lot of bonding time this time. Pero, uh, kung basta ba si Gloria Sevilla bilang kina, like, siya ba'y mahipit? Siya ba'y uh, disciplinarian? Yes, in, in a way. Uh, especially to me. Bakit ikaw? Eh, siguro kasi, ako lagi niya kasama eh. And, um... Even until now, I feeling ko 16 years old ako. Like if I go out with someone, <laughs> sabi niya, sino yan? Um, tapos papakilala ko, tapos titignan mo, parang kinikilatis. Sabi niya. Hanggang ngayon, ganun pa rin. <laughs> sabi nga, sabi nga niya, no? ni, sabi nga ni Nino, Grandma, pakawalan mo na si Suset. Mahuhuli niyan sa biyahe. Nahuhuli na nga eh. <laughs> sabi ko, nga, kapit na ako eh. Kumakapit na Yeah, husband ni Krista. Husband ni Krista, yeah. yeah. Teka, uh, pero nagluluto ba siya? My mom, oh. yes. Um, nagluluto siya ng mga Visayan food. Her favorite is, uh, um, of course, adobo. That's her favorite. Adobong Visaya. Adobong Visaya, uh-huh. yes. And then, she loves lato. You know, the uh-huh. seaweeds, guso. She, she loves all those uh, Visayan dishes. But she likes to cook tinola and uh, adobo, you know, the typical Filipino dishes. So, natatakbuhan pag ano to? Natatakbuhan uh, kahit anong oras kailangan? Yeah. yeah. Bilang lola, uh, ano uh, mapang-spoil? Si mom? Oo. Uh, kung nagsuspoil siya sa mga ako niya, hindi naman spoiled, but siguro she just wants to have quality time with each and every apo. Especially the apo sa tuhod kasi hindi niya, hindi, wala siyang time with them before. Yun, she would spend quality time. That quality time is not that, not long. Kasi hindi naman niya pwedeng kargahin na or bantayan. But to, she, she, she would play around with them. Kay Krista Ranillo lang, hindi maagad ang great grandchildren, di ba? Yes. Yeah. So, Oh, she's doing well. She still looks the same. She's still pretty. She's still kahit lima anak. anak. Very conscious because he's a health like si Matt. Um, you see Matt would cook his own food, you know. And Krista, you know, they're in the supermarket and food business. Uh, she, they would still, she would still maintain her figure. Kaya kakasal ulit sa simbahan? Magkakaroon sila ng church wedding ngayon July. Ah, this July, uh, so kasaran. Mm-hmm. Kasaran blues. Uh, ano to? Ano yun? Kasi civil sila. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They had a civil wedding. And, uh, you know, we're, we're, you know, we're a family of, you know, we're Catholics. So, sinadjust nga na to have a church wedding as soon as possible. Anyway, uh, yung, okay, personally, sige, ano mamimiss mo? Okay, mom. Uh-oh. Yung sense of humor niya, yung dami, <laughs> yung kakulitan niya, yung, in a way, yung pagiging mataray niya, ganun. But si mom kasi was my mentor eh, sa acting. So, she taught me how to act uh, with, without saying too many words. She taught me how to act using your eyes. Uh, she taught me how to do restrained acting, to be natural, not to act. Yeah. Um, she taught me to be patient because she taught me how to be compassionate. She taught me how to be respectful and understand other people's faults because we're not perfect. We're far from being perfect. She taught me to be God-fearing. I think it's not just me, but I think the whole family. Um, because she she really loved God. Every day she would say the rosary. 
uh, uh, minsan dalawang oras ng rosary dasal niyan kasi minsan nakakatulog in between you know? so she wasn't a perfect person but who's perfect anyway only god's perfect ano ba kung mga hindi pa nasabi sa kanya maybe you'd want to say it for now i think pretty much i've already I think one of the most important thing that I wanted to tell her and I was able to tell her at the last time at the last few hours was that I love her. Would you like to say it like if you're happy to ask you to talk to her now? Oh. Mom, uh, thank you for for being our mother, for loving us. Um I thank the Lord for giving you to us and uh, we will miss you sorely but just like what other people say we will see you soon but not too soon um, I hope you intercede for us for our for our request to God and uh, we'll try to be the best children that you want us to be so be happy. I know you're happy where you are. You're on higher ground now. Okay, on her behalf, would you be able to thank her public that supported her? All the Tagalog pictures, fans, Visayan pictures, fans, all the fans on uh, TV, all the fans of the Fe. Would you like to thank uh, the public? Mom had a well-lived life as an actress, as a mother, a daughter, a public servant. She loved being an actress. She loved being in show business. And I want to thank everybody who supported her career as a Visayan actress, as the queen of the Visayan films, as a Tagalog actress, uh, uh, crossing over to being an international actress. I want to thank all her fans, her Visayan fans, her friends, um, her relatives, who has always been supportive of her career uh, ever since she started when she was 14 years old up to now that she's, she's, uh, she was 90 when she stopped. She never, she didn't want to stop. Uh, nobody could stop her. Uh, so I want to thank you all for being there for loving her, for appreciating her, her work, her hard work, being an actress, being a public servant, and being a friend. Uh, please continue to pray for her and her and us, her family. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. On behalf of my family, the Redinio Cortez, daghang salamat sa mga kababayan na mo sa Cebu o sa Visaya. Daghang salamat kayo sa inyong suporta sa akong mama. I'll end it by asking this question na 90 years old supposed to be, pero ang sabi niya sa akin, 90 years old dapat for 1932 na nakalagay sa official records, pero 1935 daw siya pinanganak talaga. Nasulog lang yung simbahan kung siya siya pinanigar. So ano talaga ito pa? Oh. Okay, I will tell you, that's, that's actually true. Biologically, she's actually 87 years old, but nasulong na toto ang birth certificate. So, so they had correct. So they had to register her again. Unfortunately, yung, nag, yung messenger nagparegister sa kanya, eh nalimutan ko anong taon siya pinana. So eh, siguro wala na cellphone noon, walang way to communicate. Eh, nanghula na lang yung messenger, ginawang 1932. So, naging tatlong taong mas matanda siya. I think siguro at that time, because she was very young, you know, they had to make her older. So, okay na rin siguro yung tatlong taong siyang older. Otherwise, baka hindi siya payagan. Okay. So, in other words, as we uh, end this interview, uh, Gloria Sevilla, Hindi ho totoong 90 years old. 87 lang. But officially, she's she's 90 years old. Okay. <laughs> and dito nyo lang narinig niya. Dito. Sa din yung showbiz. Sa pika-pika. Okay. 
Ano ko, alam mo, dinapatama lang kita kasi alam ko pagbigat-bigat ang damdaya. But alam mo naman kung gano'n ko minahal ang kong religyo ka. Oh, yeah. Mom loved you, Butch. Yes. And I loved her and I love all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay.